The tinnitus device company Neosensory is shutting down. The warning signs have been there for months. Neosensory's social media accounts have been inactive since October 2024, and several key team members left the company around the same time, including their chief product officer, chief revenue officer, and head of operations. Neosensory's tinnitus device was based on a method called bimodal stimulation, where two types of sensory input are paired together. In this case, the device used a wristband that delivered gentle vibrations to the skin while playing specific tones through a smartphone app. The concept was that by combining sound and touch, the brain could differentiate between external and internal sound and gradually learn to filter out the internal tinnitus sound more effectively. Users were encouraged to wear the device daily for 10 minutes, listening to ascending and descending tones while receiving time-locked vibrations. Some people reported that this helped them focus less on their tinnitus, while others did not notice a significant difference. In my opinion, one of the biggest benefits seemed to be that the device encouraged a structured daily practice of relaxation and sound engagement. So if you're looking for better options, consider cognitive behavioral therapy, sound therapy, and the Lanier device, as those are all backed by science and research. If you need help for tinnitus, please reach out to my team at Treble Health.